Hello guys, this is Guide Ranger. Welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you the Burst Mastery build. A build where focuses on using the Burst skill, the F1 skill. The Eviscerate or the Skull Crack. I use these two because because this skill is instant skill and Eviscerate is also an instant using skill. I didn't use the sword because the skill requires the character not to move for some seconds. The character can't move till he makes 8 damages. Or if you want you can just roll over and move so you can cancel that attack. But by doing so you will only make about 200 damage, 400 damage, 500 damage, it's, it's not that much damage and you only add some bleeding, which on the long run it's not that effective. Now let's start explaining about this build. In this build I have put 20 in strength, 20 in defense and 30 in discipline. The traits that I used are dual wielding. So for the offhand weapon, I will have 5% increased damage. And for the main hand X, I will have 10% more critical damage increase. So the Eviscerate will have more increased damage and power. Now, I put 20 in defense. I have made this skill call of the week and no, I have put Sundering Mace like which trouble. when the enemy is weakened I will deal 10% more increased damage and the mace skill will have 20% reduced recharge and this also increases the damage against weakened foes but with a mace only with a mace but I have put this because it will reduce the recharge of the skills by 20% so I will be able to use them faster but if you want the first skill that is the number 2 Dogged March and you use this one your build will also be great now for the 30 discipline this is the only skill that I have put that is good but if you want if you want maybe have one have one two or three more shouts if you want you can you can use inspiring shouts which gives you eight adrenaline when you use a shout one of the skills about this build nice where the x skills recharge rate is reduced by 20 percent and you will gain two adrenaline for each crit that you do and this skill that that increases the burst damage and reduces 30% cost if you want you can have this one the skill for PvE and the skill for PvP because you will almost have full adrenaline and because of that you will heal half HP you will heal half HP and if you use it when you are stage 1 because you just have used a burst skill you will gain full adrenaline again then change swap weapons and use another burst attack I'll use this one okay now it's time to test the build There's the power. I will start with these two combination because I have two range attacks. Almost there. And when I swap weapons, I gain adrenaline too. Burst. This build is a little bit hard. The 
good thing about this build is that you can dodge roll a lot of times. Because with every burst move that you do, you will gain 15 endurance. For the PvP video, the only difference that I have is that I didn't put 20 in defense. For the PvP video, I have put 20 in the arms, and then I had rendering strikes, which cause vulnerability. And I had the skill unsuspecting foe, which critical chance increase by 50% against stunned foes. So when he's dazed for that one second, if I manage to hit him, for example, first I use the skill, then I hit him with dual strike. These two instant hits that I cause will have 50% more chance to crit. And with skull crack, you have three seconds free hitting him with 50% critical increase. That's the difference. That's the difference that I have. This is for more survivability this, is gonna be th this build and and if you use the same build but with 20 in arms you can say it is for pvp build now i will show you some small clips that i did in pvp where i fought against other players so let's see the first one is an air crow he has a little bit hp so he's an easy target Stun him. Oh, no. I thought someone else was coming. Change weapon. And done. He's dead. Now, the next one. The next one is a half HP elementalist. Try to take him down as quickly as possible. But that's done. Almost down, almost down. He's running away, so I couldn't hit him with my burst stun, which grants him three, three seconds stun. A guardian. Oh, and now three. Maybe I can manage to kill one, maybe, if I'm lucky. The enemy has their repair kit. Maybe a range attack if I can kill it. No, I got gangbanged. Let's see the next one. I made this part because <laughs> it was funny. A low HP elementalist, you just stun him and kill him. The enemy has their repair I killed him too. And he ran. And I cut the part where I kill him because it takes too long. Now the next one. Discrete. Now the stun. Stun. Ah, he knocked me back. But maybe I stun him. Yes. Knock him back. And stun. Okay. Thanks guys for watching this build, this burst build that can be used in PvE or PvP, but mostly for PvP. And have a great weekend guys, like and subscribe if you want or if you have a variation of this build you can speak your mind, leave a comment behind and see you next time. Thanks guys.